Welcome back to Girl Talk and cue the sun right in time for us to film this lovely segment. We're enjoying ourselves here in Cambridge. We're at Cambridge Winery. We're going to talk a little bit about the difference between Wisconsin wines and California wines. I look forward to that. Right now... The wine. Well, that too. <laughs> uh, probably not a good mix, wine and technology, but before you have your wine, well, that too. All kinds of things happening over here. Yeah, Don't spill your wine on your technology, but to help answer some of your tech questions and ours is Kalal, head geek over at Madison Geeks, and we're so glad to have you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for yeah. coming back. Mm -hmm. Even though we keep asking you silly questions, <laughs> you still return. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, that's right. So let's talk a little bit about Manage IT. Now, I really don't know what this is about, so tell us about it. Is it expensive? But really, what's, what's the scoop? So Manage IT is something that we bring to small businesses. Um, they're, it's mainly providing an IT service for your, for your company. Um, it's, it's, it's in a place where if you're too small to really have your own IT team or guy or gal or person, right. um, this is something that allows for you to still have those services. And uh, so it's, we're, we're pretty much managing your technology, managing the services that you utilize. And so we, it's managed IT. Um, so that's something that's a service that we bring out and that we bring to small business and consult with that business to determine what their needs are and then pr make a budget for, for them that typically is, is cheaper than bringing your own IT guy or girl on, on board. Wow, how great is that? Because even if there's some, of course, some cost involved there, right, right. what a difference in cost to paying somebody a, a salaried IT yeah. person. Or, or just trying to wing it yourself, which a lot of... Yeah, a <laughs> well, lot that's of, also yeah. costly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not going to work in my case. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking of businesses, what's mm -hmm. the importance? We were talking earlier about having a domain name right. versus... Right. Uh, Gmail or yep, yep. whatever. So this is this is a large one. I see it. I see it all over the place. Um, a lot of organizations will, you know, they'll start their business and and they're like, well, it's easy. I just go to get a free Gmail account, you know, Hotmail, Yahoo.com, and that's easy. That's fine. They probably already have one for their, you know, for their personal email. But it's so simple to get a domain name, which is your web name, your address. It's 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 your calling card pretty much. So it's easy to say, hey. You know, mine is Kalel at MadisonGeeks.com instead of Kalel at Gmail.com. It gives you, you know, it, it's more easier, professional more, yeah, more professional oh, as well. Um, the cost is super simple, and you might as well start early on. Once you have that domain name, you can link it to other services, to your website, to different email, you know, so solutions. So why not, you know, start that early on? And that's something that we can help consult that process. Yeah, as well. I think when they hear easy and inexpensive, right. that that <laughs> should be a, a good right. help right there. We got it. We got it. So I have a question about management software, and this could be kind of related to Jess's question. But should a business invest in management software, and what is it? Right. So management software is is across the board. That really. Okay doesn't have anything to do with IT necessarily. Oh, okay. This is a software that you start, I mean QuickBooks is somewhat of a management software, financial management, but ultimately you know, CRM is a big one, uh, it's a customer resource management, uh, it's, it's a contact book you know, for, for lack of a better phrase, and it, it gets all your contacts in there, you can do estimates, do your invoicing, keep track of your financial software, and uh, the reason it becomes an IT thing is that we are able to kind of help a small business and say, hey, you're starting out just like the domain names that we're talking about, get into that early, get a management software. You know, you can do, there's, there's lots of solutions, some are extremely expensive, some are really small. Again, QuickBooks Online is one of the biggest ones out there and very simple to implement and utilize to just kind of get your business organized from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I see, I go to a lot of small businesses or ones that are just starting and they're using Excel or using, you know, even paper and it's just like, just, just get it into a system. Once you, everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> once, yeah. once, you, once you grow, you can always import that information into another system at a different time, but but do that early on in, in the advice. starting of your, of your, of your company. Uh, we probably have time for one more, but along the same lines of services to utilize for businesses. Right, right. What exactly is VOIP? Talk to us a little bit about that and yep. is that a good service for businesses to utilize? Yeah, so voice over IP is, uh, well VOIP is voice over IP is what it stands for. Um, it's a phone service, but it doesn't require you to go in and do your traditional landline. So if you're starting a new business, maybe it might be from home or it might be at a small office or it might be a shared environment. 
what we've been implementing is a is a phone that connects into your internet. You might have heard of like Magic Jack before or uh, Vonage. These are similar oh. solutions solutions for typically like a residential or household. But this is what you know companies can do. We get these nice little company you know phones for your small business. You look very professional, and uh, it's it's it allows for you to get phone calls. You can manage where they you know if you're out of the office, you can forward it to your cell phone. Um, all the things you can do with a traditional line, but it's a lot more flexible and the cost is way lower. Um, and it allows for expanding as well. So right. that, that's, that's important along with backups and cloud, you know, other cloud services. Starting early, especially if you're starting a new business, that's important to get these things kind of panned out early on. They are affordable, and a lot of people, I think, get scared that it seems like it's going to be above, you know, above cost. Go talk to this guy. No yeah. kidding, yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's a great solution because a lot of small businesses, you're probably really working with a cell phone, but you want right. to have that professional office phone it. number to right. provide. So, all great solutions, as usual. <laughs> Kalal, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Yeah. Kalal is with Madison Geeks. I think we can all say we've personally used and needed you. Yeah. On multiple occasions. <laughs> yes. And always appreciate it. So we're going to be back with more Girl Talk after the break. We are going to check in with the owner of Cambridge Winery. And that's next. Stick with us.